This video is designed to teach you about the different types of rivers that are emphasized on page three of the reference table within New York State. The hardest part is actually finding the rivers and uh, figuring out their locations. Some of them are really small font and it can be hard to identify. So I'm gonna use this time to identify them for you and to highlight where they're located so it makes it a little easier for you to locate them on your own. So we're going to start with the Niagara River, which is highlighted here on the map in blue. All the way to the western part of our state, we have that river. A little further east, we're going to have the Genesee River. Even further east from there, we have the Susquehanna River. Further east there, we have the Hudson River, which flows in a north-south direction. And then finally, I'm going to highlight the Mohawk River, which is actually a river that flows into the Hudson River. That's known as a tributary, a river that flows into another one to keep fueling its water supply. The Mohawk River is actually the biggest tributary that flows into the Hudson River, so it's pretty significant for us. I want to take the time to focus on two rivers specifically, the Niagara River and the Genesee River. So I'm going to zoom in to those rivers so we can get a better look at them. You're going to need to know how to identify the direction of flow of these rivers. So the first thing we need to remember is all rivers flow downhill. We can't just say that all rivers flow from north to south. I know that these rivers look like they're oriented in the north-south direction, but these rivers are actually flowing from south towards the north into Lake Ontario. So how can we prove that that's actually happening? Well, you can look at the landscape regions that are on page two of the reference table. The Genesee River specifically starts in the Allegheny Plateau and flows uh, northward through the Erie Ontario lowlands into Lake Ontario. The plateau is a high elevation the lowlands are a low elevation. That's how I know it's flowing in that particular direction because it goes from a low, a high elevation towards a low elevation. So both of these rivers actually flow from south to north and flow into Lake Ontario. And again, you can verify that by looking at the landscape region and the respective elevations of those rivers and where they start and where they end. Another example is the Hudson River. The Hudson River starts near Mount Marcy in the Adirondack Mountain region and flows downhill towards New York City. So this river actually does flow from north to south. It flows in the southward direction because it flows from the high elevation starting in the mountains towards the lower elevation in New York City. I also just want to take a moment to remind you that pages two and three of the reference table work together and you're going to need to use the information for landscape regions and the river information on page three to answer some questions simultaneously. So to start, I want you to look at the dashed lines that make up the outline of New York State. I also highlighted those in yellow. So let me show you that again. You have your dashed lines around New York State highlighted in yellow here to emphasize the boundary of our state. That same exact boundary exists on page three of the reference table. So don't forget that these two pages work together and the size and shape of New York are identical on both of these pages. I also have the rivers highlighted here so you can see that each river is gonna be associated with specific landscape regions. So here's an example question of what that could look like. Which landscape region does the Genesee River flow through? So your first step is, a step is identifying that Genesee River. And once you do that, I need you to also look at page two of the reference table and imagine where the Genesee River would be located. Since these two pages correspond to each other, we can notice that the Genesee River is going to be flowing through the Allegheny Plateau and the Erie Ontario lowlands. So it flows through two different landscape regions and you need to use pages two and three at the same time to verify that that is true.